still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. You're gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. Who doesn't know who Spider-Man is? You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And Ben would be too. All the people you saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. Loses Otto and Aunt May in the same day. I can't believe it. This game pulls no punches. This game, man. Three months. Stay in Lee's Cafe. So? Hi. Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean... 
You do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't going to be ready for about a week, so I'm going to be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, no, no, I don't, I'm not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. Where was my second Stan Lee cameo? Oh my word, this game, man, it's too good. How do they do it? Insomniac Games. You better make a sequel because this was fantastic and there's still so much you could use. They didn't use Venom, they didn't use the Goblin. The Green Goblin, you know. I'm, there's also the Hobgoblin, I believe. And uh, Hen er, Henry, Harry and uh, Norman both become Green Goblins so they can get two of them if they want. Oh, that was so good. What are some other Spider-Man villains they use? Mysterio? I, dude, I want Mysterio in a game so bad. I would love to see Mysterium in, like, a game made in, I don't know. They made this game in three years, I think. So, sequel, like, 2020, 2021. Give me Mysterio as a boss. I can't think of any other big ones they haven't used. I mean, Carnage as well. Venom, Carnage, uh, the Goblins... This is such an amazing game, man. It's like, I think it's a 9.5 out of 10. It just barely misses 10 because there's just a few very small things. First of all, they add too many crimes to the game late game. There are, how many districts are there? Like 10? I think there are about 10 districts, give or take. Probably take. Probably 8 to 10. And so like when you have 80 more crimes pop up when you're already like past the halfway point of the game, because uh, you complete Act 2 when you go through the raft and the Sinister Six is made, right? That's when all of the other crimes show up. So you're two-thirds through the game, and then you have 80 more crimes to do. That's way too many. Also, there are way too many snipers and stuff that are just spawned randomly. And I understand you beat them up, they're no longer there, it's not a problem. And it's probably even less of a problem if I wasn't recording, because if I wasn't doing a playthrough, I'd take a lot more time to take them all out. But going through a playthrough, it takes up too much time to do that. But there, it felt like every time I went a city block, sometimes it was every other or within a single city block, there would be another sniper aiming at me with a rocket launcher that homed in for, like, miles. And it was terrible. I hated that. On top of that, there were some times where the Sable agents and some of the crimes just, like, spammed assault rifles so heavily. It was really, really difficult, if not impossible, to get out of it without dying. And I understand I am playing on the hardest difficulty, but even then... That, compared to how the rest of the game was in terms of difficulty, was way too much of a random jump, especially for something like a random crime being run into. So, I think those are really my only two complaints. Everything else was fantastic. The boss fights were great. There were plenty of them. At first, it felt like there weren't a ton, but then they added on. Side missions were all pretty good. There weren't a ton of them, but I, there was just enough. The story was phenomenal. They did so well with the Sinister Six and Dr. Octopus being the main evil along with Mr. Negative. I really, I remember some people saying when it was first being shown a lot of the trailers of this game, like, it looks like Mr. Negative is the main villain. Mr. Negative isn't, like, A-list enough in Spider-Man's rogue gallery to be the main villain. But they did fantastic with him, and he wasn't the main villain. They had Doc Ock come in as the final one, and I think that was the right call, because Dr. Octopus, especially starting a Spider-Man game like this, you've got to have someone good and big in the main villain role and Doc Ock was the perfect choice because he's just one of the most classic Peter villains probably Dr. Octopus is probably the most classic aside from the Green Goblin himself and maybe Venom like Venom Doc Ock and Green Goblin are top three I would say uh Craven I'm not an expert or anything but I think it's in the way that you ask her I'm getting too nervous <laughs> hey all right so where do you want this uh right over here is fine all right Hey, so Pete? Yeah. I, uh, kinda gotta talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. Oh. 
uh, well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas, no, for example. Not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you. I show no, you. no, 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 no. It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. That is so good! Oh, that is, that is amazing. That is great. Short order cook Stanley. That's awesome. Uh, they give me the option to skip this. I think that means that they're, this is very long, and so I probably don't want to sit through it, but I'm going to finish talking about the game, and then we got to go We got to go to Ben's grave to wrap up in Harlem. But uh, I will skip here in a minute, but I'm going to let it go until I'm done talking. Uh, Craven the Hunter, I was going to say. They didn't use Craven the Hunter either. There's another really good Spider-Man villain they can use for another game. There's still so much they could do, despite how many they went through. And, of course, they can bring some back. Like, Rhino and Electro, Vulture, like, the Sinister Six outside of Doc Ock weren't used a ton. They were used very well and enough, I think, by far. But they weren't used so much that, like, if they came back in a sequel, it would it would be like, ah, oh, you're just rehashing. Nah, bring Scorpion back. Or bring Rhino back. Have him go another round. It'd be great. But, uh, yeah. This game was just absolutely fantastic. I think I already gave my, my like, two small complaints, so I, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. Near perfect. It's about as good as you can get, man. Story is fantastic. Those of you who have watched my channel for a while, you know my biggest deal with games usually is uh, compelling characters and a good story arc, which is why I mostly play JRPGs and things like the Tales of series and the Xenoblade games, specifically Xenoblade Chronicles 1 because I didn't really like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, um, and other such games, the Kingdom Hearts series, stuff like that. That's, that's my kind of deal. And this game just did fantastic with the Spider-Man story. Like, it is such a good telling of Spider-Man in its own unique universe. They did amazingly well with their portrayal of Spider-Man. Mary Jane and Miles were both good as well. I don't know much about Miles. I've barely seen him. I really like him as a character. I can't wait to see more of him if uh, they do a sequel, which I'm like, dude, this game did so incredibly well. I'd, I'd be shocked if they didn't make a second one. But uh, they did great with the characters. Doc Ock, Norman, the vil all the villains, etc. They It was just so well done story and character wise I have no complaints in that respect and then uh, I have very little to no complaints for the gameplay and combat and everything in general so really you just add it all up 9.5 out of 10 it's a great game we'd like to thank each individual ah oh, it's so nice I'm gonna see if it's actually at the end since it got to right there I've gotta be up in like five and a half hours cannot wait uh, hey look you're up that's where I'm going it's gonna be great Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this playthrough. It's always great. I love playing these games, and I love doing YouTube, and I do YouTube because I enjoy it, and that's my main purpose going into YouTube videos. But as I always say, it becomes even better than it already is. So much better than it already is when I get to experience it with all of you guys watching and leaving comments and whatnot. And especially when I can tell that you guys are enjoying the series, and a lot of people are watching as well. And uh, it seemed like you guys really enjoyed Spider-Man. Plenty of likes, comments, views, and all that, so I'm really glad to see that this series had done so well and you all enjoyed it also. Um, I don't know when this video is going up because I have such a backlog because of my trip to Europe. I've got like parts, <laughs> funnily enough, part 69 is going up on the day I get home from Europe and I have it scheduled already. I don't know what part this is. I think it should be around somewhere between 80 to 90, somewhere in there. So, uh, I don't know when this will be done uploading. Uh, hey Tennessee, I live in Tennessee, nice. Anyways, the next playthrough that's going to be going on on the channel, the main plan is uh, Mega Man 11 is coming out soon, and I'm going to do that. And Pokemon... Is Pokemon Let's Go in November or October? I think it's November, so that's further away. There's another game that's coming out relatively soon that I'm doing, but I know the most recent one coming... The soonest one that's coming out is going to be Mega Man 11. I'm going to do that on the series. I've played the Battle Network Mega Man games. I've played the Star Force games. I've never played the original ones. So I'm going to jump into Mega Man 11 and see how I feel about it. Um, yeah. The new Mario Party is coming out. I was thinking of doing a few videos on that, so I'll probably do it. Uh, the World Ends With You Switch Remaster is coming out. That's the one I'm thinking of. It comes out like five days after Mega Man 11. I'm going to do a playthrough of that as well. But uh, that's what those are the playthroughs gonna, that are going to be coming up soon on the channel to replace this one now that this is finished. Uh, finished. I can't talk. I've been talking too much today. I've recorded like five hours to get this game done. Uh, I'm going to hold skip.
I think we're good with this. I've seen enough. Sorry, credits. But I've got to, uh, I've got to be somewhere in, like, the next couple of hours, so I need to get some rest. And I should probably do one last double check and make sure I got everything packed. They did really well with the collectibles in this game as well, I want to point out. Oh, hello. Green Goblin. I knew it. I knew there was something in there. We were so close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. I will. I love you, son. He's going to put his hand there. Not his hand. Even worse. What, Harry? What? This game is the game that keeps on giving. That is crazy. In game, there it is, boys. We just got to go get the Ben Parker trophy. There you have it. Congratulations, you finished the main story, but the adventure continues. You can now change the time of day in research stations. That's sick. Good luck, hero. Thanks, Insomniac. Great game. Great game. What am I on top of? What is this? Uh... Oh, I'm on a police department. Nice. I got the anti-ox suit. Nice. <laughs> what? They actually give you the underwear. That's ridiculous. And the anti-ox suit. Yep. It's the end of the game. I want to wear my favorite suit. Favorite suit in the game right here. Dude, the thing they did with the suits and with... um. With the gadgets and everything, the gadgets, like, make the combat in this game so much more enjoyable. And the suit powers, and being able to wear all the different suits on top of all that. It's just so well done. Fantastically made. This is the closest fast travel point. This right up here is the graveyard that we need. So we're going to go up here, pay our respects to Uncle Ben, and that's going to be the end of the series. But yeah, this this game, it's, it's great. 9.5 out of 10. Almost no complaints. I love it, man. This is, I've got to go back and do a look over of all the games that came out this year because this might be my game of the year. Last year, uh, 2017, my game of the year was Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, 2018, it might be Spider-Man. I got to go back and see what other games came out. I think Digimon Hacker's Memory came out this year and that is has become my favorite Digimon game. So it's kind of hard for me to say anything other than that is my game of the year because I love Digimon so much and Hacker's Memory was such an amazing Digimon game. But I don't... Oh, man. Yuri, you're back. How's your mom? Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. So, you gonna take that vacation now? Are you crazy? There's no time for that. The apocalypse didn't happen, which means we've got a city full of loose ends to clean up. Sounds like a big job. But we're up to it. Not you. For a job this tough, we need Spider Cop. <laughs> you, you said it. You even did the voice. Okay, don't make it weird. You like me. You really like me. You made it weird. Let's go. We've got work to do. I can't wait. Spider Cop surveys the city. Placid, but seething with turmoil just beneath its calm surface. Uh, what have I done? Yeah, big mistake. But, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. Ah, oh, crud. What was it? I was told that when I come here, one of the, like, all of the tombstones, you can see they kind of, like, have no Officers markings on them. We have a reported kidnapping. I'm a little busy, Report sorry. Like, you can see they're all really faded and whatnot, but uh, one of them will look more correct than all the others, and that will be Uncle Ben. I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, yeah, Hacker's Memory is also, like, a really high contender for my game of the year, but this game is right up there with it. It's going to be a hard pick between these two. I can't think of any other games that came out in 2018 specifically that I really loved, but uh, I'll have to check. And see. One of these is Uncle Ben's. Maybe I can find it with scanning. One of these is Uncle Ben's, and as soon as I find it, we'll, we'll get that last trophy and call it a day. That'll be the end. Is this it? It's going to be right next to Aunt May's. 
Unless they forgot to put in Aunt Maze after the post game, after you finish the main story. Oh, that's right. We found it. We found it. Hey, Uncle Ben. Miss you. Doing my best to make you proud. I thought there would be a little more to it than that, but that's fine. Uh, Aunt May and Uncle Ben. B grader, we've done it. Platinum trophy. I'll miss you both in the next game, hopefully, when it comes about. It's been real. You guys only had a year difference between each other. That's nice. That's nice. What a wonderful game. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is the end. Spider-Man 2018, Marvel Spider-Man, whatever you want to call it, PS4, etc. Amazing game. One of the best of 2018, possibly my best of 2018. We'll see by the time the end of the year rolls around, but it's definitely it's definitely like top three games, if nothing else. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching again. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you all enjoyed the series, and I hope to see you in future playthroughs, rather they be superhero or Spider-Man related or other such games. And until that time, farewell.